Dokra, a steamed rice and lentil cake, is beloved by Gujaratis. Dokra have been a popular food in Gujarat for more than a thousand years. Dokra is actually mentioned in a Jain text from over 1200 years ago. Though I use modern tools, when I make Dokra, I feel connected to my ancestors. Start by rinsing and soaking rice, then combine your lentils in a bowl. Rinse and soak those. Traditionally, the recipe calls for two parts rice to one part lentils. I've modified it to use equal parts rice and lentils just to increase the protein a bit more, but you can make it however you like. Grind the rice with the yogurt and a splash of water for 20 to 40 seconds until the mixture breaks down into small grains. <laughs> Transfer to a bowl and add the lentils to the blender. No need to clean it out. Add the ginger, salt, green chili, and the remaining water and blend until you have a smooth paste. Transfer the lentils to the rice bowl and mix well. And now you can let this ferment for a few hours or up to overnight. When you're ready to make the dokra, some specialty equipment will make your life a lot easier. But if you don't have it, you can hack this as well. I like to use my Instant Pot and this three-tiered tray stand, but really any kind of a tray and a steamer system will work just fine. Spray the Dokra trays with some oil. I like to wrap my Instant Pot lid with a towel to prevent the water from dripping back onto the Dokra. It makes for a much better texture. Set the water to boil in the Instant Pot or in your steamer. While that is happening, add the baking powder or Eno to the batter. And give that a nice mix. You can see that it is foaming up. Now distribute the batter evenly across the trays. Now sprinkle the trays with a little bit of ground black pepper or red chili powder. Place the lid on and let that steam for 15 minutes. Remove from the steamer and let that cool for a few minutes. then cut into squares. Score along the edges with a sharp paring knife. Cut into squares.
I love using my offset spatula to take the tokra out of the trays. And there it is, perfectly spongy, soft, homemade okra. And if you like, you can add a optional wakar or tarka onto your okra. In my family, we keep it very simple. Just some oil, some green chilies, and some curry leaves. Add some salt and pour that over the tokra and there you have it perfect homemade okra I hope you enjoyed this delicious and historic recipe as much as I do.